Hello there, welcome back to Jenny Designs with Paper. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm going to make an Easter card today, not one of my norms. So get comfy and let's get crafty. Back in the day, when it was new, I purchased this My Favorite Peeps stamp set from Simon Says Stamp because Peeps are one of my husband's favorite candies. I am going to create a card using both the outline and the solid image as well as that peep filled marshmallow hugs sentiment that is included in this stamp set. First thing I want to do is take this piece of um, white cardstock. This is a scrap piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest 80 pound cardstock. And I am going to stamp the sentiment onto the right center side of this piece of paper. So my card base and my papers have all been already cut out. They're sitting over on the side of my desk waiting for me to get the coloring and stuff done to put the card together. And all the things I thought I was going to do, about 50% of them worked. <laughs> so it doesn't seem to matter um, what kind of planning you do. Something is going to um, throw a monkey wrench into it. I will be stamping with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink because I am going to use Copic markers. Um, my ink pad's getting a little dry. I did need to stamp things um, two or three times, which also kind of was eh because I did not let them dry enough and there were a couple of places where the ink smeared. But the finished product is, um, I'm going to add some shimmer to it so it will hide that smeared ink a little bit, I think. Okay, um, I did get some ink pad ink on the mid lid to my misty. Wowzers, words are hard. Okay, shake it off. I got ink on the lid to my misty, so I wiped that off with a towel that I keep on my desk. And for some reason, the top of that sentiment just would not stamp. So I ink that up yet a third time and put a little extra pressure on the sentiment, and it worked. I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side and hopefully that will dry. I'm going to add another piece of Nina cardstock in my Misty so that I can stamp my marshmallow peeps. Now I would have been really smart to turn my Misty the other direction and put the stamp on the paper in a way that I could just slide the paper down. But I did not do that because I was not thinking clearly, obviously. <laughs> but I am going to stamp three bunnies on this card panel. I want to have three peeps on my card. I will be coloring them a pink, a yellow, and a turquoise bluish color and kind of the color of, you know, peeps candies. Um, I am not a huge fan of peeps marshmallows. However, now that they've started flavoring some of that um, sugar they put on the outside, there's some I kind of dig. Um, there's one that's a Watermelon, that is yummy. Hot tamale peeps, those are yummy. And at Target yesterday, yesterday, day before yesterday, I found peep, peeps on a stick that were Mike and Ike flavored. So of course you know I had to try them, right? They were low-key good. I'm just saying. Peeps has definitely stepped up their game with the flavors. That being said, they're still just, you know, sugar dunked marshmallows. So be prepared for a diabetic coma when you eat them. <laughs> I don't know how come my husband loves them so much because he likes the plain ones and gross. Anyways, <laughs> now on to the coloring and I have super fast sped this up. I will put the color combinations down in the description box below. Um, for the pinks, because reds are hard to blend, I did put like color the entire bunny in my lightest color. And then I went with my darkest, my mid-tone and my lightest. And I still had to go back and forth a few times to get those to blend really nicely. These are the um, RV9095 families. Um, but yeah, it took a minute to get them to blend, but that's okay. Um, I did notice that the faces were kind of, um, and I think I edited that part out. I did put the faces on the bunnies. I contemplated putting the faces on and then not putting them on until after I colored. And then I turned off my camera to go do something else. And then I put the faces on the bunnies and then I forgot to turn the camera back on. So 
there's that. You didn't get to see me stamp the faces on the bunnies, but I did. <laughs> um, the yellows, for me, yellows blend okay. I'm like, I never have a problem blending my yellows. There are four little faces you can choose from, and I used three of the four. And on this blue peeps, I used one where he's winking because I thought it was super cute. A winking peep. I don't know. The blues are a the um, BG3s, and they were a little bit hard to blend as well. And that's because there's huge gaps in color in some of the BG family groups. So I just had to go back and forth with the, the BGs a couple of times to get them to blend and still have the shadows that I was trying to create there. The sentiment does have those open letters on the hug, hugs word. So I'm going to use my pink, my yellow, and my turquoise again. And then I pulled out a set of three greens just to finish off the coloring, I'm coloring the shadows in the darkest color, the bottom half of the letter in the mid-tone, and the top half of the letter in the lightest tone. It doesn't really read really ombre-ish because the shadow is so much darker, but that's okay. I chose greens because I do plan to add some grass to the front of my card, and so then I'm not introducing yet another color. Now, to get these peeps to look like actual peeps, I have pulled out the solid image stamp that comes in the stamp set, and I am going to stamp each of these bennies with Versamark ink and emboss them with glitter embossing powder. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my paper with my um, heat embossing tool. What is that thing called? It's from, it's from Cottontail Designs. It's the, um, um, rabbit hole designs, the, um, cotton. It's the powder tool that I can never remember the name of. <laughs> rabbit hole designs, cotton, uh, whatever. Okay. We're moving on. Anyways, I did that to make sure that my, um, ink was dry. My Copic ink was dry and I'm going to ink up this bunny with that clear Versamark ink. And then I'm going to pull out my sparkling glitter embossing powder because, you know, it's been a long time since I had glitter all over my office. I figured, why not? Let's just go ahead and, and make a glittery mess. You know, it has to be done. It's Easter and they're peeps and it has to be done. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this step for the other two remaining peeps. I'm just going to line that up. If I'm very careful and don't bump the paper too hard, that Versamark ink will stay wet long enough to get all three of these bennies stamped and the embossing powder put on them. Um, um, Versamark ink stays wet for a really long time, so that's very helpful. It's a nice sticky, gooey ink. Um, this glitter embossing powder is what is going to help disguise the fact that the faces on my bennies weren't quite dry when I started coloring. So there's a little bit of smeared noses and that glitter is just going to hide all of that. So I suppose in theory, there is something positive be for glitter besides being shiny. I suppose. <laughs> I'm really taking my time with this last bunny because I felt like he was just off centered really bad. I couldn't figure out what was going on there. And see, I even pulled it off and did it again. I don't know. Um, I think that the dark blue may have um, hidden the line a little bit, so it was a little bit hard to see. I don't know. I'm just taking my time, stamping it up, inking it up. That's what I meant, inking it up. <laughs> and each time, I'm repositioning that paper in the bottom of my Misty to make sure that my stamps are lined up appropriately and correctly so I get a good stamp. Now, this would not be the worst thing in the world if the embossing powder was slightly offset because you're not, you wouldn't notice it because it's just clear embossing powder with glitter. But if you're trying to overstamp something, it's really important to make sure that everything's lined up properly. Okay, now that I have glitter on all of my peeps, I'm going to go ahead and melt that embossing powder with my heat tool. I did start from the back just to make sure I didn't blow all the glitter off. And then I'm going to take the coordinating dies and run each of these bunnies through my die cut machine. 
And I'm currently working with the um, Spellbinders Platinum. My cuddle bug finally gave up the ghost and doesn't quite cut as well as it used. I, should, I say finally, but it's been like a year and a half. And look how yummy that glitter is. And it almost looks like a real peep. Just covered in sugar. Just a diabetic heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> diabetic heart attack. Anyways, I used a Fisker grass punch to cut some grass. And now I'm ready to put the card together. It kind of feels like my brain is not functioning properly today. I apologize for that. My kids are home from school. Their spring break started today because we did not use all of our snow days. In fact, we used none of our snow days, our built-in snow days. So they are having spring break from today, which is a Friday, all through the weekend, all through next week, all through the next week. And um, they don't even have to go back to school on Monday. That's a teacher work day. They don't go back to school until the following Tuesday. So we're talking like a week and a half spring break. <sighs> Okay, this is my card layout. I have a pink card base. I have a polka dotted pattern paper because it was kind of, they're not super um, circle-y circles. They're kind of ovally shaped and it reminded me of, of Easter eggs a little bit. And they're nice springy pastel-y type colors. So I'm going to go ahead. The card base is a USA2 size, but it is landscape, top folding landscape. So the finished size is five and a quarter by five and a half by four and a quarter. The pattern paper is five, five and one quarter by four. And the white paper that I stamped my sentiment on is um, three by four and a quarter. And I did that because it's measurements like it's stepping down from the size of the card. However, um, it, this is where my, 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 yeah, this is where I mess things up. <laughs> we'll just go with that. So I have taped the grass that I punched out with that Fiskars um, punch onto my sentiment piece. And I'm going to adhere this down to the front of my card so that I can arrange my peeps how I want them. Now I want that blue one that's got the winky eye in the front. And I want them to be kind of sitting behind the grass. I don't want them to cover up the words. Um, and obviously to do that, they have to stick out of that grass a little bit. And so my whole layout is a little bit, I'm not loving it. So I decided to take that grass off. It is going to tear that white paper just a little bit, but it's okay because I will be putting some grass back on and nobody but you and me will ever know that. Right? It, it does tear it. It's, yeah, it's bad. But anyway... And my plan was to just have grass along that little white piece, but because the peeps are so big, I'm going to have to put grass along the whole front panel of the card. So the first thing I did was go ahead and you saw me fast forward through that a little bit, figure out how I want these bunnies to be placed. And I am using my liquid glue and I'm pausing. Do I want to use foam tape? No, I'm going to use liquid glue. I do decide to use the 3M foam tape on the front bunny, the um, turquoise one. And I am kind of tilting the pink or the yellow bunny off to the right. And then I'll tilt the pink bunny off to the left a little bit, just so that their faces poke out from behind the ears of the blue bunny. Um, I probably should have left that white panel a little bit larger, but I wanted to not cover up all of the polka dots. See, it's just all the things. <laughs> so here's a piece of that 3M foam tape. I am going to add some foam tape to the back of my bunny. And then I'm going to pause the voiceover so that I can have my daughter go get the stuff out of the oven because the timer just went off and I forgot I had set something in the oven to cook. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> we have foam tape on the back of this bunny and we are going to put him right there in the front and pop his ears kind of right between those other bunnies so you can see the, their faces as well. And off camera, I did punch, well, okay, first thing I did was put these, the um, two pieces of grass I had already punched that were only the length of that white panel. I added some foam tape to the back of them, the one I've torn off, the other one I hadn't even put on yet. I did put foam tape on the back of them and run them across the whole front of the card um, on the pattern paper. I didn't extend it to the whole card base 
just the front of the pattern paper. So this is the one I tore off when I tore up the paper and I'm just going to squish that over all the way to the left. I'm going to pull it up high enough to cover up the paper I tore and make sure the bunnies look like they're sitting in the grass. Then I have another little grassy hill that I have, um, that I punched out the same time I punched this one and I put foam tape on the back of that and I'm lining it up. And in my mind, this was going to be perfect. It was gonna be seamless. It was gonna look wonderful. Um, but it didn't, but my concept called for two layers of grass from the beginning anyway. So I just off camera stamped, uh, or stamped, oh my heaven's sakes, die cut another row of grass in a lighter green and added that to the front. And I'm just trimming it down with a pair of scissors right now so that it's, um, just long enough to cover up that first row of grass we put in there. And this one I am going to use double-sided adhesive on and just stick it right to that layer of grass that's already there. I did arrange it so that it's kind of, um, like I trimmed it down just so it's slightly off so the, the blades of grass aren't lining up exactly. So there we go. It worked out. It was totally not what I had planned, um, but it, it worked out and it's cute and I love it. I am going to put a piece of white um, copy paper inside my card base so that there's a nice clean place to write a note to the recipient of this card. And in this stamp set, there is a stamp that says Hoppy Easter. It's a little tiny sub sentiment stamp, and I am actually going to put that um, sentiment on the inside of the card because it's cute. Hoppy Easter and their bunnies. I know. I'm going to go old school though. I pulled out a stamp block and put the sentiment on this stamp block. And I didn't even line it up to make sure it was straight, y'all. I pulled out my black ink, and this is the Simon Says Stamp ink again, and stamped it. And then I was thinking, oh, right here in the middle? Sure, right here in the middle. <laughs> and it kind of is, I mean, it looks straight. It might not be actually straight, but it looks straight. So here is another Easter card using what's in my stash. I didn't buy any new products for this. This is all things that are in my craft room. So I hope you enjoyed watching me scramble and be crazy and make this Easter card. I have a couple other videos here I think you might like as well. Some of them are just as crazy as today's. Some of them are not. I also added a subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you make Easter cards. Give me a thumbs up and have a really great day.